Hey, what's up everyone? April here. So you want to try out some of the new AI Copilot functionality in the Power Platform? Well, let's go over what you need to get started. To use the Power Platform at all, we're going to need access to a Microsoft 365 license. And this doesn't include all licenses. It will need to be an E3 and E5 or some kind of business premium license that includes the Power Platform. So with these Microsoft 365 licenses, you'll often hear it referred to as you get a seated license for the Power Platform. And with these seated license, you get a limited scope of capability that you can access for the Power Platform tools like Power Apps and Power Automate and Power Virtual Agents. So with this limited scope of the seated license, we can use the Power Platform to extend the Microsoft 365 tools like Microsoft Teams, SharePoint, OneDrive. But if we want to do anything beyond that, say integrate with SQL Server, add in different Azure services, or use the Power Platform's data platform Dataverse, or you guessed it, use these Copilot and AI functionalities, then we need a premium Power Platform license. And to throw in one more requirement there for you, if you want to access the Copilots that are offered in the Power Platform, like in Power Apps and Power Automate and all of that, Right now, they are in public preview and only available in U.S. environments, and they only support the English language. However, this doesn't mean that it's only available to people that live in the U.S. You can create a Power Platform environment that's in the U.S. region and still take advantage of these Copilot capabilities, no matter where you're located, as long as you can interact with that in the English language. So with all of that out of the way, let's talk about how we can get started with Copilot. The first step to get started is to determine if you already have access to a Microsoft 365 license through your work or school. If you know that you don't have access to a Microsoft 365 account through your work or school, I have a section in this video that shows you how you can create one through the Microsoft 365 developer program. So skip ahead to that section. But let's talk for a little bit about what to do if you do have access to a Microsoft 365 account through your work or school. So even if you do have access, there are still a few hurdles that we have to go through to make sure that you have the necessary things that you need to start building with Copilot and AI. First thing you'll need to find out is if your org has access to premium licenses for the Power Platform. And if you can get access to one of these Power Apps or Power Automate premium licenses. Then you'll need to find out if your org has the Copilot functionality turned on or not. Many organizations actually turn Copilot off. So that might be the case in your instance, and you might not be able to get access. And then, of course, your organization will need an environment in the U.S. region so that you can access Copilot. If you clear those hurdles, you can get access to a premium license for the Power Platform, and your org has Copilot turned on with an environment that you can access in the U.S. region, then congratulations, you're good to go for building apps with Copilot. So you might be wondering, what if I run into hurdles? I don't have one of these things to get started. We have a way around that if you just want to test out this capability, and that is through the Microsoft 365 Developer Program. This program gives you a free Microsoft 365 tenant that you can use for 90 days, and it will keep renewing as long as you're using it. This environment is for development purposes only, so keep that in mind. But again, if you're wanting to just test out the capability, this is a great tool. It gives us access to all of the Microsoft 365 tools like Teams, SharePoint, OneDrive, Outlook, Office Suite, and the seated version of the Power Platform. Now, remember what we said earlier, though, the seated version of the Power Platform included in Microsoft 365 only gives us a subset of capabilities to extend the Microsoft 365 suite. If we want to access Copilot and AI, we need that premium license. So what we can do is leverage a different developer program called the Power Platform Developer Program and add that onto the Microsoft 365 Developer Program. And that gives us access to start trying out some of these features. So are we thoroughly confused yet? Hopefully not. I know there's a few steps involved, but I'm going to walk you through each one. So let's dive in and start creating our Microsoft 365 Developer Program account. To sign up for the Microsoft 365 Developer Program, you'll go to aka.ms forward slash n365 dev program. I'll put a link to that in the video description so you don't have to remember it. This gives us all the information we need to know about the program, including what you get with it. We get an E5 subscription, and you can actually get up to 25 user licenses. So if you're using this for testing the Power Platform, you could have up to 25 different licenses to test security rules and all of that to make sure the apps that you're building work. To get started with this, you'll select Join Now, and that's going to take you here to a sign-in page. So what this is doing is it needs a Microsoft account to sign in for the dev program. Now you might think that's counterintuitive because 
We don't have a Microsoft 365 account. That's why we're signing up for the debt program. But this is meaning a personal Microsoft account. So it doesn't have to be Microsoft 365. This can be a personal Hotmail account that you have or Outlook account or something like that. So if you don't already have a personal Microsoft account, you can create one for free. So you'll see this option here that says no account, create one. Just select that and that'll take you here where you can create your new account. So you can do this using an email address that you already have, or you can use your phone number or even create a new email address just for this. So you can create, if we select that option, an Outlook.com email or a Hotmail email. So I just created my free personal Outlook account and it's automatically taken me here to finish registering for the Microsoft 365 developer program. I just have to fill out a little information like my country or region, and then it'll ask for your company. Do be careful what you put in here. Obviously, if you don't have a company, that's fine. But whatever you put in here will be the email address of your Microsoft 365 dev account emails. Probably don't want it to be something really long because you'll be having to type that to log in. So I'll just put something like April Corp. We'll select our preferred language, accept some terms and conditions, and click Next. Now it's just going to ask us a few questions about what we're using this for and what are we interested in. Of course, the Power Platform in this case and save. And that will go and create our brand new M365 account. We see it's given us a few options here. We can do a configurable sandbox, just meaning we can pick and choose the different options that we want to have enabled for this tenant. But my suggestion is to select this option here for instant sandbox because it pre-configures a bunch of stuff for you. Like it says here, 16 fictitious users that you can leverage out of the box. It includes different sample apps for teams and a bunch of different pre-configured things that you may or may not use, but it's good to have. And as I mentioned before, this is valid for 90 days at a time. So we see in my case, it'll expire in January, but as long as I keep using it, it will auto renew for another 90 days. All right now I'll click next. Now we have to configure our admin account for this tenant. This is what you will be logging in with anytime you log in. So I'll just put my name in this case and we'll put in a password. Now I'll click continue and it is going to ask for a phone number here. If you've ever signed up for a Microsoft 365 developer account before, then you would have had to have put in a phone number. So this is one big caveat is you can only have one Microsoft 365 developer account per phone number. So this is actually as far as I'm going to be able to take you here because I already have an account, but I wanted to show you this setup process if you don't have an account to get this far. But essentially you would put in your phone number, validate that with the code, and it would finish provisioning your Microsoft 365 tenant. Then you would log into your tenant with this username and profile that you just created. And this is the environment that you would use. And once you go through those steps, you'll see something like this. This is my Microsoft 365 developer environment that I've created. So as I mentioned, you'll get access to Outlook, Teams, and all of these different apps. But this only gives you access to the seeded version of the Power Platform. So we need those premium capabilities. So this is the point in which we'll want to add the Power Platform developer plan on top of this Microsoft 365 developer plan we just created. So to do that, open up a new tab and make sure that you are in the same browser profile that you're in your Microsoft 365 dev program tenant here. And go to aka.ms forward slash Power Apps dev plan. Again, link will be in the video description. And you'll choose this option here to get started for free. So this is where you'll put in that Microsoft 365 developer environment email that you just created. So whatever you called that in your setup, you'll put that email here. You'll click next. So if you're already signed up in this case, I'll just click sign in. Again, this will ask for a phone number as well for this developer account. And we'll select get started. Now when we select get started, it should automatically route you directly to Power Apps and it should take you to your developer environment. And you'll know you're in your developer environment because it should take your first and last name or whatever name you used when you signed up for your account. So if you look here in the upper right hand corner, we'll see this tab that says environment and then it has my name there. So April Dunham's environment. That is my developer environment for this tenant. And this is giving me access to the premium capability for Power Apps and Power Automate. So you'll see right on this homepage, I have access now to Power Apps Copilot. So you notice when I signed up, I selected the United States as my region. That's why I automatically see Copilot here, because we mentioned that we need an environment in the US region to be able to utilize this. So when it provisioned this Power Platform environment for me, 
it made that in the U.S. region automatically. So you want to make sure that no matter where you're located, if you want to access Copilot, that you select U.S. as your location there. That will make sure that when it creates your developer environment for you, it creates it in the U.S. region. Now, with that out of the way, there's a few things that require some additional licensing. So with this account, I can do things like access Dataverse. So Copilot uses Dataverse behind the scenes to store data for the apps. So that's why you need the premium license. So we have access here to Dataverse and all the capability in this environment. We can create Canvas applications and model-driven apps, and we can create flows and power automates. But for things like AI Builder, if we go to our AI models tab here, those do require additional credits. But you'll notice here at the top, when I go into AI Builder, we have the ability to do a 30-day trial. So you can select that to do a 30-day trial of AI Builder, and you can even extend it for a couple of times. So I think typically get about 90 days of AI Builder to try that functionality out as well. And then finally, if you want to try out Power Virtual Agents or Power Pages, those do require additional licensing as well, which you can get trials for too. So I already have a trial activated here, but if you do go to web.powerva.microsoft.com, you should see an option to sign up for a free 30-day trial. And same thing here for Power Pages. You go to powerpages.microsoft.com and click sign in. If you don't already have a license, you'll be given the screen where you can put in your Microsoft 365 dev plan email and sign up for a free 30-day trial. So this will get you access to all of the products to try for 30 days. And those are all the steps needed to get your development environment set up so that you can start leveraging Copilot and AI in the Power Platform. Hopefully this was helpful for you. If you want to dive in and learn more about these Copilot and AI functionalities in the Power Platform, we do have a Power Platform AI global hack going on September 14th through the 28th of 2023. And I'll put a link in the description there if you want to learn more about that and see how to register and everything. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, do me a favor and click that subscribe button to get notified about future videos and support the channel. I'll see you in the next video. Before you go, check out this video I have on Copilot and my AI playlist.